girl, what's up with you? Wait a minute, is this the right number? It's, um, the loser line. Come on, just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say a guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line on you. Uh, hi there. I, I know we've never met before, but I recently watched a documentary on global warming. And, uh, um, no offense, but I think your body's too hot for the planet. <laughs> Whatever you do, yeah. do not slap him in the face with a recycled organic bar coaster. Oh. Instead, tell him you'd like to do some deforestation in his bedroom. Whoa, hey. wow. And that's when you give him the number to the loser line. So hopefully he leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. My wiener has a first name. It's A-M-B-E-R. Hey, Amber. Uh, I know uh, I'm kind of lame and whatever. Uh, I'm kind of dorky. Uh, and trying to get in touch with you, uh, you know, text you a couple times, and heard you back. So call me back. A M B E R. Next message. Wow. Oh, yeah. He yeah. Was so romantic. Yeah. He named you, Wiener after. Or her. do you think it's just a coincidence? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was meant to be. I knew it. Yeah. I could see that continuing on through their relationship. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Instead of like, this is my girlfriend, this is my wiener, yeah. Amber. Yep. Do you take this wiener to be your lawfully no. wedded wife? Oh, I wish I had a wife named Amber. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> Next message. Um, hi, David. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I love dad bods. I love mustaches. Ooh. I love beer bellies. I love just beer. Yeah. I love I love 1998 Toyota Corollas. So what? listen, if you could just pass my number on to your dad, oh. that would be perf. And you can have his sloppy seconds. Okay. Next message. Yeah, wait, wait, yes. sloppy seconds. All right. That was the worst part of the call. Yeah, My kind of lady. Yes. Oh. So she just referred to herself as sloppy seconds? <laughs> yeah, either literally. that or he's hooking up with his dad. Yeah. <laughs> So either way, not awesome. The way wow. the way that she just casually tossed that in there at the yeah, end. Yeah, that's pretty. It, it was a lot. It makes me feel like this isn't the first time that she's offered that to someone <laughs> and their dad. Yeah. And I know how maybe not works. the first yeah. time yeah. that someone said yes. <laughs> Remember, you can get the special loser line number if you text the word loser, L-O-S-E-R to 78592. Give it out to somebody who's weirding you out <laughs> so they can call us and leave an awkward voicemail like this one. Next message. Hey, Karen. Uh, this is... I just want to say that I had a great time the other night at dinner. Uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, meeting your kids. I didn't know that you're going to bring them along, but that was fine. And um, I know you asked me about if it was okay if I paid for them, and I said, yeah, that was fine. And uh, I just want to say I didn't mind uh, watching them uh, for that half hour while you had to go take that phone call. I'm sure it was an important call. That was fine. So just uh, uh, give me a call back, and we can set up a second date. And, you know, and then we can also work out the payment for the Uber, uh, the $75 I gave you for the Uber ride. <laughs> that was fine. You must live uh, quite a ways away, you know, for $75. I've taken Uber several times, and it's never been over 25 So uh, I'd love to see you again. Give me a call. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, maybe the most passive-aggressive voicemail we've ever yeah. heard on the loser line before. Just, that woman is a hustler. Props yeah. for her. The game. I can't Bronx. believe Karen's getting calls still. <laughs> Dang, man. And she played the ringer. Next message. Hey, Monty. This is um, I am the girl from last night at the bar. Okay. Um, I guess, you know, we kissed, and I actually was just, like, kind of going in for, like, your cheek, and that's not what happened. Obviously, we, like, actually kissed. Um, so I don't do that. That's not something that I do. I don't normally kiss. I kind of have this rule where I'm not supposed to do that on a, on a date or whatever it is. So I'm calling to kind of like declare that that didn't happen. And we're like annulling the kiss. Oh, so this is me taking my kiss back. Uh, <laughs> see, no more, no more kiss. It's gone. Annulled. Um, so if you could just Call me back and leave me a message just kind of confirming the receipt of the kiss. And so, uh, yeah, I got to go. Bye. Next okay. message. Wow. Oh. That was amazing. That was, I mean, 
it's oh. not easy because I have a lot of stuff I would like to uh, yeah. Yeah. take back. I didn't, suck it up. I didn't yeah. know that you could do that. You can. You yeah. wow. suck it back up. Well, that's awesome. In that yeah. case, hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Oh. All right. We are good. Oh. Thank that you, was... lady, for teaching me that I can do this. Oh, that was very dark. Sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> Next message. Carrie, this is SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh. Ga, 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 ga. Also known as <laughs> the guy you met at Starbucks. And I'm taking you on an undersea date. Put on your scuba gear. We're going to go investigate a Spooky shipwreck. You never know who you're going to meet. My best friend, Patrick. Hey, Curry. Oh it's Patrick. <laughs> you're pretty hot. Shut up, Patrick. This is my girl. Oh. <laughs> and after that, maybe we'll head over to the Krusty Krab for some Krabby Patties. <laughs> and what's the best way to work off a big lunch? Oh, who has sex in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> Do it, Carrie. <laughs> Call me back. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Uh, but he wants to do something under the sea. Oh, Everyone yeah. heard what no, he was yeah. doing in the pineapple house. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. That was a lot. That was. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait for his next voicemail. I just... <laughs> oh, who got chlamydia in a pineapple <laughs> under the sea? You did, Carrie. <laughs> But Patrick will make it better. No, yeah. well, you can listen to the loser line regularly at this time every week. Your phone tap's coming up right after this.